the door. Hazel, a small black and tan mutt, barked vigorously within the shadows of the abandoned house staring through the glass into the outer yard. The bright light in the dark sky illuminated the large room through the giant glass. The providers were gone and she had no idea when they'd be back. They were usually home before the bright light devoured the hot light in the sky each day. The stench of her partner, a small black quadruped with pointy ears and a domed forehead, was never far. However, the other's stench was more than apparent, and it was stronger than before. She wanted to find her partner, whom the providers called Rico, but she didn't want to take her eyes off the yard. It was out there, and she knew it. A giant beam grew out of the soil within the yard, and small green flakes attached to brown limbs of all sizes sprouted from the beam. But something was different about it tonight. The base looked wider than before. Suddenly the base shifted and moved. Two yellow lookers, just like her own, appeared beside the tree within the darkness. The lookers were trained on her. But it didn't want her. It couldn't. It wanted the providers. Her providers. They had more meat on them than her or Rico's small frames could offer. But she wouldn't let the other have them. The providers had saved her from the bad place. She owed them everything. Her barking turned to roaring as she hurtled towards the small opening, the door in the kitchen that allowed her and Rico to pass through the wall and into the yard. Skittering feet weren't far behind as her partner came bounding from whatever room he was hibernating in. She stormed through the yard towards the tree where the creature with the yellow lookers had moved into the light. It possessed six legs of which it stood on four while the remaining two limbs had squeezers on the ends like the providers had. Its body was covered in scales while its head looked like hers, though bigger. And the lookers. The lookers were like nothing she'd ever seen. She noted that her partner was now next to her barking at this deformed quadruped, but she suddenly stopped in her tracks when the other let out a high-pitched shriek. She and her partner howled and whined in the hopes that that would make the shrieking stop. Suddenly, Hazel's limbs stopped working, causing her to crumple to the ground. Her partner's limbs stopped working too. Her vision faded as the deformed creature approached them. When she woke, she found herself blinded by white. She was able to chew through the white material, a sticky twine, not unlike the web of an eight leg. When she looked around, all she saw was concrete and darkness. Then the aroma of scat filled her nostrils. Once her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw a bright round light far ahead. A door to a place she didn't want to be, but maybe a door to her freedom as well. She growled when she noticed something moving nearby. It, too, was covered in white webbing. Hazel tried to move away from it but found herself still trapped in her own webbing. When it emerged, she howled and barked and bared her teeth. The head looked like hers, though it was too big for its body. It was black all over from the small portion Hazel could see. Soon, two legs appeared, though these were not like hers. They were squeezers like the other possessed, like the providers. But this was not the other, for it was too small. This creature turned to Hazel, and its lookers froze her into silence. She knew this creature. It was her partner, Rico. Hazel pulled her front legs through the webbing, expecting to see her paws, but all she saw were two squeezers.